In sum, violence against women and girls is a complex issue. We're all aware of this, and it requires a long-term and sustainable approach. As such, all of us together must stand united. The fight for gender inequality is, is everyone's responsibility. Families, our colleagues, our employers, our trade unions, our civil society, women's organizations, the media, law enforcement, public institutions, ministers and indeed heads of states need to lead this fight from the front and lead by example. We must use our considerable collective capabilities and capacities to reduce the burden that is disproportionately carried by women in this fight. Strengthening the alliance with men and boys is also crucial to this. They must be considered and valued as equal partners in the drive for transformational change to ensure that the dominant and harmful masculinity that has been so prevalent before and which is so deeply rooted in patriarchy and normalizes the abuse of women and girls is now completely rejected. The targets of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development are not optional. They're what we have all signed up to. We must never tolerate a world where violence is inevitable. Rather, we must strive to make a real world where women and girls can finally enjoy a life free from it.